Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Happy Thursday to you. It's almost Friday. This week is going by really, really fast. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's happening, right? So welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. And I have what should be a pretty quick message for y'all this morning. Uh, and the title of today's message is, um, have you planted any seeds, right? Have you planted any seeds? So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, have you done any work? Because, see, a lot of people are, are expecting a harvest from seeds they haven't even planted, right? Did you catch that? A lot of people are expecting a harvest from seeds they haven't even planted, which means they want to be successful, but they don't want to do the work, right? They want to reach their goals, but they don't want to invest the time, right, or, or the money or whatever it is, right? And, and that's not going to work, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I saw this this meme that somebody had posted online yesterday, and it said, um, I've been in my business for a week, and I'm not a millionaire yet. I knew it was a scam, right? And, and that's kind of funny, like, really? You know, because you're like, all right, does anybody really think that? Do people really think that you can do something for like a week and then blow up, right? Or it's also kind of sad, though, because, yes, people do really think that. You know, they think they don't have to do any work. They think they just have to show up. And that's not true. Yes, you do have to show up. Don't get me wrong. But that's not all you have to do. You know, if you're wanting to get a degree, you don't just enroll in school. You have to go to the class, right? And you don't just have to go to the class. You got to stay awake in the class. You got to pay attention. You got to take notes. You got to study, right? You got to take the test. You got to pass the test, right? So there's all kinds of things that you have to do. You're not just going to get it by showing up, right? You have to plant the seed. You have to put in the work if you want to see the results, if you want to reap the harvest right if you want to lose weight or build muscle you can't just join the gym you got to go to the gym and when you go you can't just walk around and watch the other people work out you got to get on the equipment you got to do the work if you want to get the results that you desire you know if you're if you join a business you're not just going to make money and become a millionaire just because you joined the business you have to work the business so a lot of times it's not that things don't work it's that we don't work right you got to put in which if you want to get something out, you know, a, a farmer doesn't just go outside to the field and say, hmm, nothing's growing. And they know they haven't planted one seed, right? They have to plant the seeds if they want to reap the harvest, right? If they don't put anything in, they're not going to get anything out. And that's the same way life works, ladies and gentlemen. You can't not put anything in and expect to get something out. You got to do the work. You have to do the activities that it takes, you know? And even when you start planting these seeds, like even with the farmer, he plants some seeds, but they all are not going to grow into this big harvest. So he has to plant a whole bunch of them, right? Which means every little thing you do is not always going to produce this big result. You have to do several things, you know, because even when he's planting the seeds, some of them are, are going to fall on, on shallow ground, right? And they're not going to be able to take root and grow. And some of them are going to fall on thorny ground, right? And, and they're not going to be able to grow a rocky ground. Or the birds are going to get some, right? The birds are going to get some. Or some of them will grow, but then the hot weather will cause them to wilt and die. So all kinds of things will happen when you plant the seeds. But if you plant enough of them, some of them will fall on good ground. And some of them will reap that harvest that you're looking for. But you got to do the activities, right? And, and just keeping with this example, you also have to make sure you're planting the right seeds. Because certain seeds, certain crops are not going to grow in certain climates. So you got to know your climate, right? So with you and your activities, you have to do the right activities that are going to get the results that you desire, right? Or um, you might have to make sure... What was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought right here. But anyway, yeah. And, and you have to make sure you're planting them in the right places. You can't go sprinkling seeds on the sidewalk, on, on the street. You got to plant them on the soil so they can take root and grow. So not only do you have to do the activities, ladies and gentlemen, you have to do the right activities at the right time and you have to do a lot of them because every little thing you do isn't going to produce this big result. But, but you have to have patience and you have to put in the work because everything's not going to be quick. You know, like that little thing that I read, it's kind of funny, but people want a lot of things quick. And when they don't have it quick, what happens, people get discouraged and they quit. And that's why I'm talking to you guys today, ladies and gentlemen, because it's just, you know, recently I've been running to a lot of people, a, a couple, well, not a lot, but there's been a couple situations in particular where I see somebody who has so much potential, but they're not living up to it because they don't want to do the work. 
They're not doing the work, ladies and gentlemen. You got to do the work if you want to reap the rewards because some of you guys are so talented. You know, you have gifts, you have talents, you have skills that you're not using. You're just wasting your life. And I don't want to see you guys wasted. So that's why I'm bringing attention to this today. You know, so many people could have more. And I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, material things. You know, it could be like more time, just enjoy life more, more happiness, more freedom, more fun. A lot of people could have more, but they're not living up to their full potential. They're not planting seeds. They're not putting in the work. So they're not getting out of life everything they could be getting. And, and it's just so sad. And I don't want to see you waste your time. I don't want to see you waste your gifts and your talents. So I'm here to tell you that even though I see a lot of people wasting, and this may apply to you, this may not apply to you, but I see a lot of people wasting their life. But the good news is as long as you're still in it, as long as you're still alive, it's not too late to turn it around and do something about it, which is why I'm talking about this today. I want to, I really want to encourage you to stop and think about, are you living up to your full potential, right? Are you putting in the work so you can get out the rewards? Or are you just kind of just rocking along, just hanging out, not really doing much? Because don't waste your life. A life is, it, it, it's just, you know, it's precious. Life is precious. So don't waste it. Get out there and do something. Like I said, even if you've wasted time up until this point, if you're still alive, you still have time to make some changes. Now that word is, again, change. I talk about change all the time because if nothing changes, nothing changes, right? If you don't do anything different, you're not going to get anything different. And there's so much more out here for you. There's so much more. Tap into it. Plant some seeds. Reap a harvest, all right? So thank you all for watching. I actually only see one person on here right this moment. That is Leroy. Good morning, Leroy. I hope you're having an awesome and amazing day. Um, anybody catching the replay, thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, my name is Panique Singleton. I'm here every morning, Monday through Friday, 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch the replays on YouTube. I mean, obviously, you could scroll back on my Facebook, but they're also on my YouTube channel if you miss anything, all right? So if you found value in this message, please like, comment, and share so other people can benefit from the information as well. And I'm going to get out of here, and I encourage you too to get off of Facebook, get off of social media, and get out there and be great on purpose today because you can do it. I believe in you. You just got to believe in yourself, and you got to get out there and do the work just like we just talked about plant those seeds so you can reap that harvest all right so i'm out of here y'all have a great thursday and i'll see you guys right back here same time same place tomorrow morning hey michelle good morning i'm just jumping off of here but uh definitely go back and check it out all right i'll see you guys later y'all have a good one